Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and in this video, we'll be looking at a try hack me challenge called Gallery. So, it is an easy level challenge, and we'll be looking at this. But here, we'll be using Pawncat in the privilege escalation section. So, let's begin. So, let's just start off with Rush Scan. I use Rush Scan because it's quite fast. And here, you'll see that starting off, we have two ports open. So, since I have solved this room, I won't be wasting most of your time. Most of your time. We'll just be looking at the important stuff sv tag p 80 80 80 followed by the ip address and map.txt so we have two ports open let's just start off with 80 and 80 80 you'll see that something special happens as soon as you go to port 80 80 you will be redirected to port 80 and in the slash gallery login.php page this gives us a hint we do not need this even if you want to try this you can all you'll get is slash gallery and a few bunch of extra folders so at this point there are two things that you can do but before that let's just start off with the new next question so what is the name of the cms our cms's name is simple image gallery let's copy it and paste it the next question is what is the hash password of the admin user so to get that there are two things that i can think of here First of all, use this hash. This means that there is a database towards uh, operating. So you can try to brute force uh, that. Second thing, you can, you know, brute force this or look for credentials in this directory by brute forcing it. So what I did here was I tried to look for the common files with an extension of .php using GoBuster. Just a heads up, it won't lead you anywhere. So the next thing that was left for me is to brute force this so you can try with common credentials like admin root password guest and others i went for sql injection right away and was lucky enough to get a sql injection here so you'll see that right off we get a admin account this gives us a hint that admin is the only user that we have here and if you tinker around a bit you'll see that we have an albums tab now here you can either add a new album or upload a new picture so what i did here was let's just copy a php reverse shell and see if we can upload a reverse shell here so nano php reverse shell so 10.9.144.115 and 1234 so let's just try to upload a picture and let's just see what happens but if you see here if I were to go to the gallery, you'll see that I cannot upload it because it isn't allowing me to upload a .php extension file. So let's just move it to php.png. Let's just see what happens now. Here we can do it, upload it. But in order to get a reverse shell, what we have to do it, first of all, I'll have to you know remove this part and edit it to the new IP address which I am solving right now so let's do it site um, sorry about that proxy intercept on and let's just save it here you'll see that our file is php.png but we will be changing it to php.php so that we run it so in the background what we will be doing is we will be running pawncat this time so there is a reason why I chose to run pawncat instead of netcat or any other uh, reverse shell so pawncat.cs and if i were to type in help you will see that i can listen using the listen command tag m because i'll be using linux and 1234 as the port that i'll be listening on it is important for you to type tag m linux so here we have it let's just forward it and wait for it to connect us back it might take some time but it eventually will work so let's just wait for it to you know connect us back and as you can see we get a connection back right away it can take some time and we'll be waiting for it to confirm that our php shell has worked so and as you can see it says connection has been established and the next thing that we'll be doing is typing in sessions to see the sessions that are open as you can see here that our session has finally been open and let's just use sessions 
0 and now that we have now all you have to do is press ctrl D and it would shift from your local session to the remote session now I can type in ls and you see that we have all the files here so tag ALPS let's just move towards the um, var www ls see HTML now what we are looking for here is the hash password for the admin user so where can we look at we can have a look at the config files so where it where will our config files be it will be in the var www html files folder sorry so let's just gallery and as you can see we have a bunch of files so let's just cat out config.php and you can see that there are a few files that are being imported which is first the first is initialize.php the second is dbconnections.php the third is system settings let's just start off with initialize.php now initialize.php is in the same folder itself so let's just cut out initialize.php now here you'll see that the database username is gallery user the password is password 321 so let's just use mysql tag u gallery user tag p for the password p a s s w o r d 321 so this is the password guys so if i were to type in show data basis you'll see that we have gallery database so let's just use that now let's type in show tables you'll see that we have a bunch of tables so what we will be looking here is at the users so select star from users and you see here that we have the administrator or the admin account with the hash of this so let's just copy it and paste it here now it says what is the user flag you'll have a hard time figuring out figuring it out because it might be hidden somewhere so it says that it is a Mike's mistake and this is the hint that we are given let's exit it from here so what I initially did was I initially looked for everything that belonged to Mike so this meant I typed in type F user Mike and everything but it did not give me anything much interesting so I tried manual enumeration so one of the files that I came through was or came across was and I like to show you is in the backups sorry uh, pongat can be a bit tedious to use and if you see here there is a mic home backup directory so if I were to go to that folder you'll see that there are two files or two folders so to say but there is a bash history uh, directory um, file as well so let's cut it out and here you'll see that it says sudo tag l along with this is the password that belongs to mike so let's just do mike and let's just paste it here and finally we are the mike user so let's just cd home cd mike ls cat user dot text and I have copied it so we'll just copy it and just, just paste it here I'm sorry about that okay so finally what is the root flag and it says all the best so let's just type in sudo tag l and you'll see here that we are allowed to type in or uh, to run bin bash opt rootkit dot sh file with the root permissions so let's just cd into opt ls and cat root kit dot sh now if you were to see here it says that enter what would you like to version check update list or read the report and it says rk hunter so it is a root kit hunter basically but if you see here whatever i'm typing in it is working as a switch case so whatever i type here if it equals to this it would run this command if i it equals to this it will run this command and if it equals to this it would run this command 
सो इनिशियली आई हैड हार्ड टाइम फिगरिंग इट आउट हाउ कैन आई एक्सकलेट माई प्रिवलेजेस सो वट द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट आई डेड वॉज आई लुक फॉर जी टी एफ ओ बिन्स एंड ट्राई टू सी इफ वी कैन एक्सकलेट आर प्रिवलेजेस आई दर यूजिंग दिस और यूजिंग नैनो सो द नैनो केम आउट क्वाइट इंटरेस्टिंगली एंड इफ यू सी हियर इफ यू जस्ट हैव नैनो run as sudo and if you to type in control r control x and type in reset this you will have root permissions so let's just use sudo bin bash opt and this is one of the reasons why i chose to you know uh, use a uh, pawn kit the reason being that it requires a stable shell to use or uh, to open nano but i couldn't stabilize my shell uh, either on the mac or on the virtual machine which was running kali so I had to use Pawncat for that purposes. So sorry, I had to type in read and I typed in nano. And as you can see, we are here. So I have to all I have to do is I have to type in control R and followed by control X. So control R, control X, and it says command to execute. We'll be typing in reset one and zero two and zero. hit enter let's just type in i don't think it worked let's just start off again control x oh sorry control r let's just do it again read control r control x reset sh 1 and 0 followed by 2 and 0 and if i have to type in who am i you will see that i am root so let's just cd into root ls cat root.txt and we have the root flag here so thank you guys this is it for the video